guys. Um, if you've been around handguns for any amount of time, you already know what this is. Uh, it looks like a Beretta 92, but it's not. It's a Taurus 92. A um, little bit of history about this gun. Um, it's based, it is a licensed uh, reproduction of the Beretta 92. Um, it's made by Taurus in Brazil. Um, it's a classic gun. I mean, when have you not seen one of these? Uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because, like I said, if y'all know anything about Beretta 92s or the Taurus uh, production, uh, you already know most of this stuff. Um, Taurus started making these um, back in the 80s. Um, they've gone through some design changes. This is a really early model, um, and the reason why you can tell is because of the close uh, cocking serrations, and there's no decocker safety on the slide. Um, this is an early model. The newer models have wider serrations and you'll have a safety decocker on your slide. Uh, this is a great gun and I know I say that a lot but uh, these are one of the guns that you can just swear by. Um, you know kind of like a 1911. They're, they've been around long enough. I think Beretta started making the 92 back in the late 60s, I believe. Um, so, you know, fast forward to today, these things are still rocking. Um, not a lot done to this. I've changed the grips out. Um, you know, I don't know exactly how old this is, but uh, this is another gun I was able to pick up off Gun Broker, and I, I think I got it for 230 bucks. Um, I mean, I couldn't pass it up. So, all I've done is I cold, re cold blew the barrel because because of how the slide operates. You know, it slides on the barrel, and you'll get wear marks on there. I slapped some cold blue on there, and I did respring the entire gun. Um, I ordered uh, just a stock weight um, spring kit from uh, Wolf, uh, and the gun came back to life. I mean, it's this gun, it worked fine before, but you could tell the springs are getting weak, uh, the trigger reset um, wasn't really positively clicking, so I'm respring the whole gun, and it's like it's brand new again. Um, you know, and it cost me 18 bucks and uh, uh, an hour of my time. So, there's single action, double action. Um, they have a trigger bar that operates the hammer. Um, it's an awesome gun. I mean, you can swear by these. Uh, you know, people talk a lot of smack about Taurus. Sometimes, I, I'll be honest with you, I've never had one single problem with the Taurus and one advantage it has over the Beretta is Taurus offers a lifetime warranty. Um, so there's that. Uh, magazines come in 10, 15, and 17, I believe. Uh, I mean, if you're looking, I highly advise picking up the Taurus model. Like I said, you, you get the same exact gun almost, but with a lifetime warranty. Uh, can't go wrong with them. Uh, the 92 is a 9mm. The 96 is a 40 Smith & Wesson. Uh, now they have like the PT-99 and PT-101 um, models. It's all the same with a couple of differences, uh, but I highly recommend them. Uh, never had a failure to feed, never had a failure to eject, um, they're easy to disassemble, uh, easy to clean. Uh, I'll tell you this, once you start, if you have to respring yours, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get everything together. And there's some special tricks you have to do, but um, you know, you, it's just another one of those guns you can't go wrong with. They're reliable, they're proven, military uses them, police use them. Uh, like I said, you can't go wrong. Uh, I 
don't really have any complaints about it. I, you know what? I do. My only complaint is the side picture. I do not like the tiny uh, front dot. Um, it's, it, I mean, it's so small, it's more of just a blade sight. I'm considering sending this off and they can uh, drill the front side out and insert a tritium tube and then your rear sights can be changed but the front sights on these cannot because they're built into the frame. There, there's two options. You can have a gunsmith mill this off and cut a dovetail for uh, knife sights or you can send it off and uh, I think Trigicon uses a, uh, yeah, they use a subcontractor. If you go to their website, there's a link to them. But basically what they do is they drill out the front sight and insert the tube uh, and then change out your rear sight for you. I think it's around 150 bucks. You just send them your slide. Uh, that's the only other thing I'm really considering doing to this. Like I said, I hate the front sight. Uh, it, the dot on it, it's so tiny, it's hard. It's hard to see sometimes so mostly I just use it as like a I try not to focus on the dot I just use it as a blade um, front sight um, but I'm really considering sending the slide off and having night sights put in um, that's my only main complaint about it um, and again this is the older older style that doesn't have the decocker um, but it's been a great gun like I said never had any uh, problems with it um, and again, I highly recommend the Taurus over the Beretta just because of the warranty. Um, Taurus gives you the lifetime warranty and Beretta doesn't. I don't believe. I could be wrong. So, um, that's all I got. And if you got any questions, uh, please feel free to comment. And always, please subscribe. And I hope y'all have a great day. And see you at the range.